how to remove viruses is what I'm going to show you in this video. This is Mike at MSL Computer Service where I bring you videos on computer repair and how to maintain your computer and how to keep your computer running well for business users, home users, school students, senior citizens, anybody that uses a PC can benefit from these videos. If you think you have a virus is what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, usually what happens is you turn your computer on and everything goes real slow. It's like you click on things and things aren't opening and it's really, really, everything seems freezing up and you can't do anything at all. If you can, it takes a long time for the computer to start and it takes a long time to shut down and it's very slow. These are the steps that I always want you to take. The first step would be to download a program called Malwarebytes. Now, if your computer is that slow and you can't download it, you have to go into safe mode with networking and download it. If you can download it in regular mode, do it that way. You have to find out how to go into safe mode for your model. What you do is you do a search on Google safe mode for Windows 10 and it tells you exactly what to do. If it's Windows 7, safe mode is you, you shut your computer off, you turn it back on and you start clicking the F8 key and that'll take you to safe mode. And then once you get to safe mode on Windows 7, then you will choose safe mode with, with networking. It may be F12 key but do a little um, search to see which one it is for your computer. Windows 10 and 7 are a little bit different as far as that goes. But if you can install it normally, install that program, Malwarebytes free version, run that program after you install it, and it will find a lot of things, and it will make the um, computer run a little bit better. And then after you do that, quarantine on the bottom, you push the button and let it hide all the files to a safe uh, folder vault, which is called quarantine. And once you do that, then you close out the malware bytes, and then you do something else, which I'm going to tell you now. The second step would be you go into your start button, you go to the run box, and you click, you type in run box MS config on Windows 7. Once the MS config window comes up, you hit go and the window will come up and then you go to the startup tab. Uncheck everything on the startup tab except for your antivirus. Then hit apply and OK. It will ask you to restart the computer, restart the computer at that point, And then when you restart it, it will free up a lot of the programs that are running in the background. So the computer will start faster and you'll be able to navigate and do other things. Another program I recommend getting is called CCleaner, which is a free program also. You just download CCleaner and you run the cleaner and it cleans a lot of the temporary junk that gets on your computer while you're on the internet searching different websites. You do those three things. Also, if your antivirus is out of date and it's not working anymore, your trial is up on your new computer antivirus, go to search and download a program called Avast, A-V-A-S-T, Free Antivirus. I'll say it again. It's spelled A-V-A-S-T, and type in Free Antivirus. If you're running Windows 10, specify Windows 10 in the search and make sure you download the version for Windows 10. And make sure you download the version for Windows 7 if you're on Windows 7. This is a free antivirus that's just as good as a paid version. There's nothing wrong with it. You may get ads asking you to upgrade to the paid version. <clears throat> you could do that or you can stay on the free version. And in my experience, 23 years, I've used the free version and the free version works great. Install that, but make sure you go into your ad remove programs in the control panel before you do that. and disable and uninstall the trial version that's in there first. What you do is you go to start, you go to control panel, <clears throat> you go into the control panel and you go to add remove programs 
and then you scroll up for the antivirus, whether it's Norton or McAfee, highlight that, go up to the very top and hit uninstall. That'll uninstall your previous antivirus that's not working anymore. On Windows 10, what you have to do is you have to type control panel in the bottom search bar and then click control panel and it will be called programs and features. Click on programs and features Go in there, look for your trial antivirus, highlight it, and go up to the top the same way, and you just click uninstall. I hope these tips help you. If they do, leave a comment in the comment box, and please like and share the video, and subscribe to my channel, and also look at some of the other videos I have. They're very helpful for all different types of computer repairs. And again, this is Michael Cassio at MSL Computer. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.